Hey guys, I'm coming to you today with another nutrition haul. If you didn't catch my first one or you haven't heard of nutrition before, it is a website that has um, different food items to accommodate all different kinds of diets. I find lots of good low carb and keto friendly items on there. Uh, so as per usual, I forget exactly what I ordered and it wasn't even that long ago. They ship really quickly, at least um, for where I'm located. So uh, I was just forgetful, but I went on kind of a big shopping spree this time. So I have a big box here and I wanted to unpack it for you. So I'm just gonna get started taking out these air pockets and stuff. So some of the things that I ordered this time are reorders of products that I've tried before. And so I'm not really gonna talk about those too much. You can watch my previous video. I will put a link to it um, if you wanna catch that. Um, but I have a whole bunch of new products this time that I haven't tried before. So uh, I can do a little review of that for you and also show you like the first time I cook these items. Um, so the first thing I talked about this before, I actually talked about it with it all over my face by accident. This is Nudie Light. It's like a hazelnut chocolate spread, Nutella kind of spread. Uh, I eat it just on a spoon. <laughs> so, um, and it's sugar free. I also got, um, when you spend more than a certain amount, you can choose a free gift like a like a t-shirt or like a pill box I got the last time. Um, this is a water bottle. I think it's a shaker. Yeah, it's a shaker kind of water bottle. So that was just a free gift from them. And it says True Grit on it, which actually I'm not 100% sure what that is related to. Um, I got a pill box the last time and it said um, nutrition on it. So I don't know, um, but it's cool. Free water bottle, thank you. Um, and then the last thing that's kind of just loose out here, these are sort of coming apart. Um, I, this is a new item that I got to try. These are meringues, like egg white based little cookies. Uh, they had kind of mixed reviews, so I wasn't sure about flavors. I went with one pack of cappuccino and one pack of strawberry. And I actually had already opened the cappuccino ones and tried them, and they were pretty good. Um, again, for sugar-free, like here, gluten-free, fat-free, um, they're 30 calories per serving, which a serving is 10 of these little cookies. I mean, they're pretty good, all things considered. They're not good gourmet meringues, uh, but if you haven't had meringues for a while or, or you know, cookies or sweet treats, uh, they're, you know, probably going to be a nice treat for you. So, uh, like I said, I already tried some of the cappuccino. I will bust into the strawberry in a little bit and show you how that goes. I guess I will start actually with these meringue cookie candies. Uh, like I said, I had already broken into the cappuccino flavored ones and they were pretty good. So this is the strawberry. So just if you're not familiar with the meringue, it's kind of like a light and airy uh, sort of melt in your mouth type of cookie. It's like piped out of a little um, pastry piping kind of thing. So it comes out in like a little star shape usually. Mm. It's definitely really strawberry flavored, like, you know, artificially strawberry flavored, which again, if you're going for just like a sweet treat kind of thing is probably what you're looking for. Um, and the serving size, yeah, the serving size is actually 10 pieces, which is pretty generous. Okay, so now we are down to the smaller inner box. Let me throw this one aside. I also wanted to mention Nutrition really does like package their orders very well considering that you're getting food items and it might be a lot of things that are fragile or perishable. Uh, they really do a very good job of packaging everything in a safe way so that I, at least I haven't experienced any like breakage. Like you saw the, um, the nudie light spread came like wrapped in some little plastic bag. So I guess in case of like melting or leakage, it would be protected. So they do a really good job with that. All right, so this is just a big box of snacks. Okay, so the first thing we have, um, this is a, um, one, a little over one pound bag of Russell Stover sugar-free candies in assorted flavors. We have uh, dark chocolate mint patties, pecan delights, peanut butter cups, 
coconut and caramel in chocolate candy. Um, so I have gotten these before. I actually can get them at the supermarket, most of these flavors. My favorites are the peppermint patty ones, and also they're not in this mix, but there's like a toffee one. It's like a chocolate covered toffee, because um, those are my favorite kind of candies sugar wise normally uh, so these are you know like an okay substitute they have maltitol in them and so a lot of people um, have you know comments about the bad effects of eating these I will say I think the serving size for most of these is two yeah two pieces if you eat two pieces a day you will be fine if you eat the whole bag or eat a whole bunch of them you might have some problems. If you stick to two pieces, you will probably be fine. So those are a nice little treat. I also got as another treat to try um, these Sucrin, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, milk chocolate, no sugar added chocolate bars. They're actually a little smaller than I expected. They're kind of just the size of my hands and I don't have big hands. Um, but I think, is one bar a serving size? No, they might be a couple servings per bar. Um, but I got one just plain milk chocolate and one is almond and sea salt. And they had a few other varieties as well. I thought these would be just like a nice treat to try. Okay, so I'm going to give these sucrin bars a try. I probably should start with the plain milk chocolate one just to get a sense of what it's all about. But I'm going to go for it with the almond and sea salt bar and see how that is. And I still, I don't think that it says how big a serving is. I know it's not the whole bar. It's maybe like a half or a little less than half of the bar, but it feels like it's in pieces. Oh, there's a diagram of how you're supposed to tear this open. There we go. Okay, so it's in little um, pieces and part of it broke off. So there's two more in here. Um, so I'll just try one piece. That's pretty good. I'm definitely getting the sea salt. There's almonds in it for sure, and then it took a minute, but I got the sea salt. It's pretty good. Uh, then I have another of my favorite snack items. I talked about these before in my previous video. These are Peely Nuts. So they're just like really high fat, uh, very like no carb, one gram of carb nuts. And I just got a few packs all in the Himalayan salt flavor. I've decided this is my favorite flavor. They have some other flavors that are like pizza and ranch and different like spice combinations. And those are sort of like they're fun, but they're just like different spice coatings. Um, I also had gotten a pack of plain ones the last time when they were out of the Himalayan salt and I'm really not a fan of them just plain. I think they need a little something. The Himalayan salt is perfect and these are a great snack for like on the go or like keep in your bag if you're not sure if there's going to be something you'll be able to eat somewhere. So I always like to keep a few of those around. And this is another new treat. These are Chico sticks. I don't know if um, if everyone's familiar with these. They kind of the closest thing that I can compare them to is like the inner filling of a Butterfinger bar. They're like a little bit peanut buttery and kind of brittle. Um, but these are sugar-free Chico sticks. So I always love these again because I love like Butterfingers. Um, but I always love Chico sticks, and my husband loves them. So I'm really excited to show these to him and for us to try these out. I figured while I'm trying stuff, I'll also try these Chico sticks. These are Atkinson's brand, which is a little similar to Atkins. I'm not sure if that's intentional, um, but if these are good, uh, I will give them or some of them to my husband for Valentine's Day. So. I feel like there are a little bit more peanut buttery and they're not quite as crispy and brittle as regular Chico sticks but again a pretty good substitute if you're not eating the real thing. The next thing in here you also saw me talk about uh, the last time I did a nutrition haul. This is uh, the great low-carb bread company fettuccine 
So I've decided the fettuccine is probably my favorite of their noodles or faux noodles. Um, again, these are made uh, with pea protein isolate, oat fiber, wheat fiber, egg whites, da da da. Uh, so no low carb. They're um, 25 grams of carb, but 18 grams of fiber. So not totally no carb, but pretty low compared to you know traditional pasta. So I just got a couple packs of these. And here's my last little package. Again, these are something that's kind of liquidy, so they put them in a plastic bag, which is nice. Um, so these are two types of Zeroodles, I guess is the brand name of these. Um, but they are shirataki noodles. You might have heard of these, or like miracle noodles. Um, they have a couple different names, but basically they're just made of like fiber. They kind of have no flavor of their own. Um, and they come in like a liquid. Some people complain that they have like a weird smell to them, but you have to kind of rinse them first and like get the, the whatever liquid they come in, get that off of them. And then you just kind of warm them up and use them like you would a normal pasta. So I got two to try. Um, this one is shirataki penny noodles, which I actually have never seen before. Usually you just see spaghetti or like rice, which is basically just chopped up spaghetti. Uh, but this is penny, so I'm kind of excited to try this with some kind of sauce, maybe like an Alfredo kind of sauce. Um, and then this one is angel hair, so like a thin spaghetti. Um, and this one, I actually have a plan this week to make ramen, and I want to put this in it. I actually just saw somebody uh, in one of my keto Facebook groups that I'm in had done this recently, and I found a few recipes for it, so I think it should turn out okay. Again, uh, just assuming that I prepare these noodles correctly. Um, but again, you hear kind of mixed things. Some people say they're like the most disgusting thing ever, and some people love them as a... You know, low carb, no carb noodle substitute. So uh, hopefully these go well. And this brand in particular seemed to have pretty good reviews and ratings. So excited to try all of these. Okay, so I'm about to try out the shirataki angel hair pasta. I'm making ramen noodles. So I have my uh, broth going here on the stove and it smells really good. So I will share that recipe with you. Watch in the uh, description for that. Uh, I have some chicken going. It's gonna be chicken ramen. And then I have my pasta here. So the instructions for this say rinse thoroughly, dry with a paper towel, and then uh, stir fry it. So I'm gonna uh, just rinse it off in a strainer and then um, dry it and just kind of warm it up in a pan, I think. So I just tried a noodle out of the pan and it really doesn't taste like anything. Like it tastes completely blank. Um, so, and also when I dumped them out of the bag to rinse them, there was no smell to them at all. So I don't know if that's just this particular brand because a lot of the things that I've seen about shirataki noodles is like how disgusting they smell and taste. Or if I just did a really good job of rinsing them off, I don't know. Okay, the moment of truth. Just using a fork to get some noodles out here. That's really good. The broth is excellent, and like I said, the noodles really don't have any flavor of their own, so they're perfect for something like this. So I hope you enjoyed watching this nutrition haul, and stay tuned. I'm going to try to add in a couple reviews of some of these products as I try them, and let you know how they go.